I am Danielle Gagne from Commercial UAV News, and today I'm joined by TK, uh, president of Bayou Aerospace Corporation. How's it going today? Great, thanks. How are you doing? So can you tell me a little bit about the conversations you're, you're having here at Commercial UAV, UAV Expo Americas? We've actually been really productive. Um, we have two drones. As you can see behind us, we have a, our US-1, which is a quadcopter uh, that flies about 70 minutes. And so there's a lot of different customers from construction companies um, <clears throat> to we even had a group of farmers come out and want to talk to us. And so on all of our drones, we don't put sensors on them. We don't tell we're, we solve the transportation problem. And so um, if people need a long haul, long duration drone, they can come to us. So what kind of things um, can you transport with your drones? Anything. It's usually a weight restriction, you know. And so as long as, as, long as, we can, uh, as long as we can lift it and haul it, we can move it and we don't discriminate. Can you talk about some of the applications you've already done um, with your drones? We can put um, cellular tower, mobile cellular tower, and kind of you know hover hover over a group and create a mobile cellular network for an environment. Let's say like in Hurricane Katrina, Ida, where you lose all power services, we can put the drone up and then create that cellular network so that uh, first responders and things like that can work. Um, we use farm applications, like I said, the farmers they want to put a sensor on there that where they can see disease in crops, they can put a geotag on it, and then they can go out there and pull those crops out so they don't infect or you know, anything else. And then the full array of what you would imagine with surveying tools and other things like that. So, That's really incredible. What got you into looking at drones for this particular application? Originally, the founder of Bayou Corporation, um, he's, his goal, he was a medical student, and his goal was to deliver medicines and vaccines to the underdeveloped world, which is the drone US-1 that you see above us. Um, that drone flies eight hours, and it will go about 500 miles. And so uh, as we've expanded from that thought, um, and we are, we are in the running right now to do a couple different African nations for the health organizations and provide that service that he dreamed of. Um, but as we look to build a business, you've got, in order to build that business, you have to do more than one thing. So, the, the outcropping was, what do we do well? We stay aloft for a long duration and we can fly a long time. And when you look at most quadcopters, their average, even the bigger ones, they stay aloft for about 20 minutes. And we can stay aloft 70 minutes and that's a lot more palatable to people. Absolutely, it's always a conversation about time and how long you can do that. Doing any kind of hot swap between a drone is just downtime. No, like I guess so we, our, the, our large one will be up in the, our eight hours um, and that, that's appealing to so many people. A good example is a pipeline inspection for oil companies. A lot of times you'd have to leapfrog every 20, 30 minutes and leapfrog. Now we can fly that drone 250, 300 miles out and, and, and capture that information in a much more efficient fashion. And that's really uh, helping to, to build the, the use case for, for things like in those long linear inspections. Thank you so much, TK, for speaking with me today.